Hello, my name is Rob Blush, Director of Design and Engineering for Grossband Greenhouse Structures. With me here is Jenna Jepson, our Greenhouse Manager and Head Grower. We're sitting inside of a newly constructed uh, Venlo Greenhouse and we wanted to take a minute to talk with you about things you should consider when building a commercial greenhouse. Thanks Rob. Um, so from a grower's perspective, how important is it to work with a reputable greenhouse builder and manufacturer, especially with meeting uh, the production goals and satisfying local building requirements? Yeah, so it's extremely important to work with a builder who has experience not only with national codes, but uh, local and state level codes as well. Working with a manufacturer has the capability to produce a quality product, but also do so on time and under budget is another critical factor. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, is working with the installation crew who has the experience when it comes to building greenhouses. Um, that's gonna save you a lot of time and money. Um, but let's talk about other things. So Jenna, as a head grower, what are other things that uh, you should consider um, when building a greenhouse? Yeah, so um, some other important factors would be things like um, the time that it takes to get permitting, what kind of foundation you want, drainage within your greenhouse, utility access, um, also the orientation of the structure. So the way that the sun is traveling over your greenhouse during the day has a, an impact on that internal sun exposure. Um, another important factor would be the crop or the crops that you're planning to grow. When selecting the growing systems, components, and just the overall layout, making sure that everything is suitable for the crop that you're going to grow is very important, but so is flexibility. Um, being thoughtful of potential new crops and expansions at this phase can really pay off in the long run. Uh, but Rob, let's talk about construction. So what goes into preparing a site for greenhouse installation? How extensive is that process? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so just like any building site, when you're uh, getting ready to build a greenhouse, there's lots of things to consider. Things like site access, uh, soil conditions, utilities, and rainwater runoff. It's extremely important to make sure that you grade uh, your site properly so that you don't have water running into your building pad. Uh, concrete foundations like we have here or helical piles are both pretty common foundation options and both of those are going to require a nice level building pad to work from. Good points. Um, so I know that there's different cladding options for greenhouses such as film, polycarbonate and glass panels like what we see on this greenhouse here. Um, what are some precautions that need to be taken during the cladding installation, especially with the glass panels? Yeah, another good question. So storage and handling is probably the most important factor to consider uh, when, when it comes to cladding. Obviously with glass panels, glass can break. Uh, so we're utilizing special tools like suction cups and, and cradles to handle the glass. Want to prevent moving it back and forth across the job site, minimize that movement as much as possible. Uh, when it comes to other cladding options like polycarbonate, uh, th those panels come with a plastic covering. So we want to store those in a nice cool dry place to prevent that from adhering to the panels. That's interesting. What are some keys to working efficiently during construction and keeping a project timeline on track? Just like anything, communication's key. Uh, so it's working effectively, everybody's gotta communicate well. Uh, having a project manager that can make sure that we have materials delivering to that job site to stay ahead of the crew uh, is extremely important. Having an installer, again, with that experience when it comes to building greenhouses so that they can plan ahead and make sure that their guys stay busy. And then lastly, having a, a good collaboration between the project management team, the construction team, and the customer is critical to the success of the project. Awesome. Yeah, well, thanks for taking the time to talk about the construction process and considerations that our customers, as well as other commercial growers, should be thinking about for their projects. Yeah, my pleasure, and thank you, Jenna. Yeah. Anybody out there looking for a commercial grow span greenhouse, please reach out to a grow span representative.